What's up guys and welcome back and in today's video I'm super excited because I get to show you guys a new project we've been working on for quite some time now and that is the Baby Hawk 2 HD and this thing is pretty awesome I've been flying it for a couple of months now and I couldn't be more excited to show you guys what comes in the box and a little bit about the drone so without further ado let's open this up and get it out of the box. Now, first, when you open the box, you're gonna see some paperwork. You have the Vista manual here. Tells you all about the CADEX Vista that we put inside the unit and a little bit how to work it and things of that nature. Along with our support QR codes. If you guys have any questions or any warranty claims you wanna take care of, make sure to go to the support and you'll be able to contact me and I can get everything situated for you. And you can get the manuals right here from the QR code. Next, we also have some stickers that all our products come with, and we're gonna actually pull out the Baby Hawk 2 HD. And like I said before, I'm super excited about this one. This thing flies amazing, and it's kind of my go-to now. I live in the suburbs, so flying something like a five inch six cell rig is not gonna be ideal for me out here. This thing is perfect and I can zip it up and down my street and around in my neighbor's yard and they're not gonna care too much because you can barely hear this thing. So let me go ahead and set this aside. We'll come back to it, talk about what we have on this drone itself. Next, you're gonna get a set of propellers and they are 3.5 inch, but we found that this size propeller works best with the setup with the Baby Hawk 2 HD. So you get those in the box along with a set of hardware, some extra screws, extra standoffs, extra grommets, extra nuts, all that in this little extra hardware pack. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about, obviously this is Emax's first HD drone out there. So it comes with the Cadex Vista along with the Cadex Nebula Pro. And the Nebula Pro, in my opinion, is very comparable to the actual DJI FPV camera that they use. But one of the main differences between these two cameras are that this one is a little bit lighter. Now next, with the CADEX Vista, you'll see that the antenna is nicely mounted on the back. It's actually a two-point mounting system. It bolts to the frame itself, and then it goes through the top plate, and it's kind of secured in there. So when you're flying around and you bump a couple of things or have a tumble, it's not gonna just rip out and rip your UFL off your CADEX Vista. Now moving on, we'll go to the motors. The motors are our Eco 1404 3700. We decided to go with this size because it gave it the best performance it could with the most amount of flight time it could. Now this drone can fly for quite a bit of time and we spec'd it out and said it could fly up to seven minutes. But personally, with the 4S850 I was flying on, if I'm just cruising and exploring, I got over 10 minutes easily. But if you are hard ripping, you're gonna actually get closer to that seven minute mark. So just keep that in mind. Now moving on to something else that's also new for this drone, and that's our 25 amp all-in-one ESC and flight controller. So you can see that on the bottom here. It's actually the normal whoop mounting system here. And we also provided this protective cover on the bottom. And if I move it around in the light, you can see it shimmer. And that's just to protect for some moisture or some debris getting up into your all-in-one ESC and causing unnecessary short outs or damage to the board that none of us like. So moving on to the frame design, just a couple of things that I want to point out. We decided to go with the monoplate and it has multiple points of contact going to each motor and that's going to help keep the noise from the motor going back into the flight controller itself. So it's going to make this thing fly incredibly smooth. And then also on the top plate, if you can see on the front here, we have a mounting system, a couple of holes up here. You may be wondering, hey, what's that for? It's for an action camera. So we have a couple of different mounts that we're gonna be 
supplying to you guys via STL files or if you don't have a printer we're going to offer them for sale on our website and you're going to be able to bolt a couple of different 3D prints up here depending on what action camera you are running. So personally I have a Hero 8 and a Hero 6 those are the only ones I have so I went ahead and slapped my Hero 8 on here and it was able to carry a Hero 8 and that's pretty impressive. Now obviously it's not going to fly as good as it did without a GoPro, but if you want to get some cool cinematic kind of cine whoop shots, you're going to be able to use this drone and fly this low and slow, put your hero on top and you're going to be able to get the shot. Now you're not going to be able to go and dive some buildings and pull out with that hero on there. It's not going to be designed for that. But if you do want to slap your Hero 8, Hero 9 on here and get those slow cinematic shots, cine whoop style shots, you'll be able to do that with this drone. So the STL files we're gonna offer is a 3D printed couch, a 3D printed kind of lug style where you can just bolt your GoPro on. But then also we're gonna have the Insta360 Go mount that you can either purchase or print yourself. Now it does come with an XT30 battery connector and we suggest you pair that with a 4S 850 milliamp hour battery. That's gonna give you the best performance and flight time capable to you. Now one other thing I wanted to point out before I finish this video is that this drone comes in bind and fly and it also comes in plug and play. Now the two bind and fly models you're going to be able to choose from are Crossfire and D8. So if you're running FR Sky or Radio Master or something like that, you're going to want to go with the D8 bind and fly and that comes with our tiny D8 receiver installed. Obviously if you run Team Black Sheep Crossfire you're going to want to pick up that bind and fly. And if you want to install your own receiver or if you have the DJI transmitter, you're going to want to go with the plug and play. Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed this overview slash unboxing video of the Baby Hawk 2 HD. Like I said, I'm super excited that this is available for purchase now. I've been flying this for a couple of months and absolutely love it. If you guys want to pick up your own Baby Hawk 2 HD, make sure to hop down into the description. We have a couple of links there that you can click on and get yourself one. And if you guys have any questions or something you don't think I went over in this video, make sure to comment down below and we'll do our best to answer. But until the next time guys, I'm going to put some props on this guy and go fly it. See ya.